Something big will be happening in the sport of MMA this weekend. We are about to embark on a new era in the game with the debut of the UFC on ESPN taking place this Saturday night. While on paper the event itself may not have the most depth we've ever seen in a fight card, regardless of the outcomes of any of the contests, this weekend's event will go down in the history books as one of the most significant events in MMA history. The UFC's first foray into the world of major television networks first started in 2011 when the promotion inked a seven-year deal with Fox. And at the time, this was a major, major deal. Not financially speaking, but just in terms of the magnitude of what it meant now having mixed martial arts officially entering the world of mainstream sports. It was in November of 2011 that the days of MMA being a fringe sport ended, and we now had a seat at the table alongside of the NFLs, the MLBs, and the NHLs of the world. Much has transpired in the past seven years since since JDS knocked out Cain Velasquez in one minute and four seconds in the very first round on that first event on the major television network. It wasn't exactly the ideal scenario the UFC could have hoped for. In fact, I think there were a lot of things about that event that didn't work to the promotion's benefit. They did their best to construct a card that would be good for the potentially millions of viewers who would be watching the UFC for the very first time. But as we've all learned by now, even when you're in control of the matchups, there's only so much influence a promotion can have over how an event ultimately comes off. This is a sport that has a lot of variables at play. Way too many to have the ability to be able to manipulate the entertainment factor. So perhaps that first big event on Fox wasn't the most appealing to the casual fans who didn't have all the context of the situation that the hardcore fans had, but it hardly mattered. Because in the long term big picture, the sport has been trending upwards since the very beginning of that TV deal and hasn't shown any signs of slowing down. We are long past the point of one bad event making or breaking the promotion. The over $4 billion price tag put on the UFC in 2016 was a major churning point, but now, just a few short years later, we are at yet another churning point with the UFC's partnership with the worldwide leader in sports. ESPN has jumped in with both feet. And although a lot of the details of the future plans aren't public, if the moves they've made so far are any indication, the sport's in good hands. I think it's always a good sign when the network makes a point to get the premier MMA journalists on board to be their MMA insider. And it's not just the fact that they hired Ariel Helwani, but the fact they are seemingly investing in him and his show big time. The TV-like studio they are now doing the show from was a good sign and all, but it was announced this week that a condensed form of Ariel Helwani's MMA show will now be on ESPN2 on TV weekly going forward. To me, that commitment speaks volumes about ESPN's intentions with this new deal, and I think it bodes well for the sport as a whole. As mentioned, to kick off this new era, we don't have the most stacked card we've ever seen, but as we've all learned by now, you cannot judge an event on paper. I think the main event of TJ Dillashaw and Henry Cejudo is a fantastic fight, though I do have to admit, I have some concerns. The fact that the main event has a fighter scheduled to compete in a weight division he has never fought in before is quite risky. Although I consider Dillashaw to be as professional as it gets, you can never shut the door on something going wrong last minute. How could you? It happens every other event. A fighter blows weight or doesn't show up to the scale at all, and the fight either gets scrapped or if we're lucky, a late replacement shows up to save the bout. Granted, sometimes that's just the type of drama to drum up more interest than there was there initially, but that's not something we need happening for this historical event. Especially when there is no matchup that is a clear contender to be bumped up to the main event and properly suffice. But hey, if it does happen, so be it. Because no one event will make or break us at this point. No matter what the outcome is, the beginning of UFC Fight Night live from the Barclays Centers in Brooklyn, New York signals another major progression in our sport. The entry of MMA into a new stratosphere in the sports world.